With iOS 16 and watchOS 9, Apple is making it easier than ever to track your medications. The medication feature will come in handy for seniors who take multiple meds and want to be reminded to take them. In this step-by-step -step video, I'll take you through the entire process and show you how to manage your health using the new medications feature. Welcome to Ellen's Tips for iOS, where I help seniors master their iPhones and iPads. If you find value in this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let's get started. To add a medication, you'll open the Health app. You'll make sure Browse is selected. You'll tap on Medications. And as you can see, I already have my medications added here. But if you haven't added any uh, meds, your screen will look like this. Go ahead and just tap on Add Medication. So for now, I'm going to scroll down below my medications and I'm going to choose Add Medication. And here you'll have two options to add your medication. You can tap on the camera icon and take a picture of the prescription bottle. And, you know, hopefully uh, Apple will be able to find your med doing it that way. If not, you can just come into the search area and type in the medication that you want to add. And once you find it, tap on that medication. And now you receive some options. Is it a capsule? Is it a suspension pill? Is it an injectable? I'm going to go ahead and choose capsule. And then I'm going to, I can tap it to show more and it, and it adds some other things. But I know this pill is a capsule. I'm going to go ahead and tap on next. And now it asks you to choose the strength of your pill. I'm going to go ahead and say one milligram. I'm going to tap on next. And now you choose the frequency. Do you take this pill every day, every other day, only on specific days? Well, I know that this pill should be taken every day. So I'm going to leave that checked off. And I'm going to go ahead and add a time. So I'm going to say that I take this pill at 10 a.m. every day. And in fact, I take this pill twice a day. So I can also then add another time. And I'm going to say that I take this pill at 10 a and 10 p. And once I'm finished with that, I'll go ahead and tap on next. And now you choose the shape of the pill. And Apple has quite a few options for you to choose from. I'm going to choose a capsule. And then when I tap on next, it says, well, what are the colors? So I'm going to say that the left side is white and the right side is red. And you'll see then that it shows you the color of the capsule that you'll be taking. I'm going to tap on next. And now you'll see I can review the details of this particular med. I take it every day at 10 a.m. and 10 p.m. And below that, I have some options that I can put in here. Uh, I can put a display name if I want, and I can add some notes, things like take medication with food. Make sure to take this medication at the same time every day. And when I'm finished adding everything that I need to, I'm going to go ahead and tap on done. And now that medication has been added to the medications list. Once you've added a medication, you'll see drug interactions below the screen, uh, the medication screen. And if I tap on that, I can see that um, factors that'll cause problems would be alcohol and cannabis. And it tells me that there are serious interactions with uh, ProGraph and alcohol. If I tap below that, you'll see moderate. And, it, you know, there's moderate interactions between atorvastatin and ProGraph. So you'll see a listing of the interactions between all of the drugs that you take. Uh, Apple may not have all of the interactions, but at least you'll see some of the interactions there. If you want to know why you should track your medication, Apple has you covered. Open the Health app. Make sure you're on the Browse icon at the bottom right corner. Tap on Medications. Scroll to the bottom. And you'll see an About Medications. Tap on Tracking Your Medication. 
And here, Apple has lots of info on why tracking your medication is so important. You can add more medications as needed, and as you can see, the process doesn't take very long. To make sure that you receive notifications, these are turned on by default, but just to make sure, once you're inside the medication area, scroll to the bottom and you'll see options. Tap on that and you can see that the toggle switch next to dose reminders is turned on and this way you'll receive an automatic notification. And also the time zone toggle is changed on so that if you uh, are in a different time zone, you'll still be notified at the correct time to take your medication. When you receive the notification to take your medication, if you tap directly on it, you'll be taken into the health app where you can choose taken, skipped, or log all as taken. If you push and hold on the notification you receive, you can log all as taken, log all as skipped, or choose to remind me in 10 minutes. Apple has made it easy for you to share your list of medications with a healthcare provider or maybe a family member if you need to. So once you're inside the medication list, if you scroll towards the bottom, you'll see an option to export PDF. Tap on that. You'll see a list of your medications. Tap on the share icon in the upper right corner. And here you could airdrop it to somebody with an iPhone. You could send it via text message or mail. And then you have the option to print that if you would prefer to carry it in your purse or your wallet and take it to your doctor's office. To track your medications, all you need to do is tap on any medication under the Your Medications list. And once you do, you'll see that you have an option here for daily, weekly, monthly, yearly. And it also tells you how many of those medications you've missed, if you've missed any, anything. So it's a great way to see how you're doing with keeping track of your medication. Once you've completed taking a medication, you can archive it or delete it if necessary. Uh, all you need to do again is make sure that you're under the your medications area, select your medication, scroll down to the very bottom and you'll see that you have an option to archive this medication or delete it completely. If your watch is running watchOS 9, the medications that you added to your iPhone will sync directly across to your Apple Watch and you'll also receive notifications to take your medications on your Apple Watch as well. To see your medications, uh, push on the digital crown to come into the app area, scroll and locate medications, tap on medications, and you'll see all of the medications and their login on your Apple Watch. Hopefully this helps those of you who take many medications or maybe you just take a few to keep track and know when you should be taking them so you don't forget. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.